15. It could be one of 10. And here we go. The third time that these two have played against each other. This time it's Resende kicking from left to right. And Valent from right to left. Resende trying to get us underway. Just three minutes into the match. It was a, a guided finesse that brilliant idea. The one thing we took from that last match, Rich, is that Resende had so much possession. And it was just another thing trying to break down his defensive Valent. Absolutely. And that's the, the real sort of sticking point. He couldn't get past the defence. Valen was so good at the back. He was so good at mopping up any of the sort of attacking options that Resende was throwing at him. And on the counter, he was so clinical. Here comes Valent with his first chance of the game. You guys have had your say. It's funny how the predictions have shifted now. Everyone's on the Valent train and a brilliant save. From Van der Sar, I'm sure more of you would have jumped onto that train if that ball went into the back of the net. Brilliant idea. Unable to get the conversion of the chance. So I'm going to say this has been Resende's title that he's been building into for a long time. He's been part of two out of three broadcasts. He's been a top four player, basically. In December, this month in Feb, he's a top two player. Last month in January, he was just outside of that. He was in the top eight. Valens, although he might not have been on the broadcast, he's still been making top 16 runs. Just been sort of one or two wins away from getting to this very stage. But when his moment has come today, he has delivered and he understands what is on the line here. When his opportunity has come, he has taken it with both hands. Resende, potentially looking to bounce back. He needs to bounce back. Otherwise, by his own standards, it will be a disappointment of a tournament. Going through the winner's bracket and then falling in the grand final. Corner played short. Again, similar situation. We're in lots of possession for Resende. Shake of the head from him. Where are the gaps, he's saying. The amount of white shirts back. Making it difficult, making it hard to beat. Having to grind this defence down. Corner played short, we cycle back out to Carl Walker. And actually having to get those players forward from the corner and to try and overload. You're right though, that man on the ball now, foot free. Usman Dembele has had a very quiet evening. We've not really seen him playing, really, have we? Sometimes you forget he's on the pitch in the nicest mm. way possible. That's not a dig at Dembele or Resende. It's just the way that the game's gone. He's played more into the left-hand side of the pitch through Cristiano Ronaldo, through R9, as you probably would if you had those on the pitch. Oh, no. Resende. 
Patient build up still. Love to see these stats at half time. Honestly, we've probably had about 70%. What do we know about Valent? He doesn't need all the possession in the world. He can counter attack, he can score goals. He's so quick when he gets the ball in the final third as well. It's snappy, one, two touch passes in and around the box, and not afraid to whip a ball into the box either. Low driven cross was the third goal for him in that first two-legged match of the series. Now we're in the decider. There's a corner. Sorry, a goal kick he goes through in the end. Three minutes away from the first half of four concluded. We're into this game because a bracket reset was formed. Due to the win from Valens. That should probably just about do us. I added time of about a minute. I look forward to seeing these half-time stats because the centre's had a lot of possession. And Bappe all the way across. And Cristiano Ronaldo. Forget Ronaldo, my apologies. Bruno Fernandes from centre midfield to centre forward. Talk about the low driven cross. Another example of it right there. Whipped into the box. Bruno on that left boot. Absolutely no doubt over the finish whatsoever. Emphatic on the left foot into the back of the net. Nearly took the leather off the ball did Bruno with that strike yeah, he can go into the break with a smile on his face can Resendo after all that pressure it finally creates a goal in the end of it all Bruno Fernandes brilliant goal I'll give Resende a 1-0 lead but there's still a long 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 way left in this type That's a formation he's sticking to. A 4 3 3. It was there. It's either a 4 4 1 1. It was his favourite formation that Valen was playing, but doesn't seem to be having the success in the second series that he did in the first. Plenty of time left to be played, though, and we'll see if he can get a foot on the ball. That's something that he struggled with. It's been the possession dominant in the favour of Resende in our first half of four. We said winner picks up five thousand dollars that number one spot from this month in Feb. Be crowned the champion in South America. It's defended very well, Valor. Yet to see him create a good chance yet. Could that change now in the form of Neymar? Rashford in support on a left foot finesse, maybe. Great feet. However, it was a great block from Resende. We want to get a second goal. If he can get a second goal, he'll have to change how Valens wants to play. It's just the way that sort of Resende now, since the break at least, Brandon, he's been composed. That's the word to describe it. That could have been a second goal right there. He probably knows he's missed out on a good opportunity to get a goal. Was that a first time finish? He potentially should look to go for an A1 to the guarantee. In the end, it was very well done there by Valor. Last third of this game. Neymar. Lovely touch. 
Just Ooh. off the bar. Ooh. Big opportunity. Rifled across the goalkeeper. And only the crossbar. Separating Valen and a tied game. Crossbar still shaking. It shows just like that how he can create a chance though, Rich. Out of nothing. Brilliant touch into a finish that just stung the bar as you said it. It was hit just a little bit under. That would be Ness in the right top corner by now. We could be in for a 1-1 scoreline. Resende back on the hump. His turn. Get into the box. Comes to nothing also. at your grand final right now only one of these two can be the champion take all the points take everything that comes with it being a regional champion on the xbox as part of the fifa 21 global series send that up by a goal to nil at the moment that goal came just before the end of the first half in the form of bruno fernandez what a goal it was a uh, Flash cross into the box and a first-time volley to remember. You saw that through ball there. Very dangerous. He's also been sort of teasing us with the player lock in this last 10 minutes as well. Not seen him use the player lock at all, Valen, in this tournament up to date. And is it showing a little bit more of the tools in his repertoire? Or is it maybe a little bit of desperation? We'll have to wait and see. But very interesting that he's now decided to use that player lock. Chance here for Resende. Back to our nine. Big save. A big chance. It pulls out another great save. See Valen there. Head in hands, probably thanking Thibaut Courtois for that unbelievable save that parried it away and kept him in the game. Still only a goal between the two of them. Triple change coming on. Alessandrini, Tavernier and Tyson for Valen with, what, about 12, 13 minutes left to play. Alessandrini got a big goal in the first game in the last-ditch moments of that first leg. Is he going to do the same again? We shall wait and see. Yeah, it's been that same triple change, isn't it? All night long for Valent. To be fair, it has changed a little bit. Before it was... Morales, wasn't it? Yeah. Came on that right wing spot. Maybe he wasn't cutting it. And Tyson instead will be the player to come on instead. 11 minutes left if leg one. On the flip side. All right, Sanchez comes... Off. Placed by Davies. Probably some of the most popular changes that any pro is looking to make these days. Resendo. Fernandez back to R9 on the edge of the box. On the finesse. And into the back of the net. Making it look so simple. Is Ronaldo Nazario. Opened up the space with R9 and just caressed it into that top corner on the finesse shot. Goalkeeper absolutely nowhere near it. And Resende doubling his lead with only six minutes left to play. We wondered who was next to Resende this whole time. You can just see... Secondary face in there, I'm sure a coach and a friend of Resendo. 
It's helped them get through qualifiers in tournaments such as these. Ronaldo into R9. Surely a goal. Oh, what a save. See the reaction of Resende. It said it all. Fingertip save over the bar. Should have and probably could have been three goals to nil. By oh, this halfway point. And that should probably just about do us for leg one here. Resende will lead by two goals to nil. Fist pumps all round in his household. Because at the moment, so far, so good. Looks comfortable, Resende. 2-0 up. We'll get to see the stats here at the halfway point. But I, I would care to say 63% possession or more. 65%. Five shots, 